Good morning, friends. We're here again at uh, Flying J in Saskatoon. This is where we slept last night. Now we're just in line to grab some fuel. Once this guy's done fueling. Two pumps over there are frozen again. Go figure. <laughs> Happens every winter. Yet they never fix it. Every winter all the pumps freeze. The DEF pumps freeze, guaranteed. Oh well. Welcome to the day. So today uh, I'm going to Hardesty, Alberta. Uh, sort of like just in the air, general area there. Uh, we got to bring these big steel plates I got on the trailer to the oil fields there so that they can build a big oil tank and store oil in it there. So that should be fun. Get all this weight off me. And then I got to go to Edmonton and pick up a load of lumber tomorrow morning. And that's taking me back home. So uh, we're here on the Canadian prairies, sort of in the center, center of the Canadian prairies. If you guys have been following me long enough, this is where we had our surgery for Frankie. And it's in Saskatchewan. And I'm just waking up here. I just moved the truck around here so I can grab some fuel and I'm gonna go inside and grab a coffee. Uh, we'll be on our way. Let me wake myself up and I'll get right back to you. Like usual, uh, there's a truck over to the left. All the way that last one over there with the black grain trailer. I saw him, he just parked in the pumps and walked inside and it's been about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes and he's still not out. I don't know why he would just park in the pumps. I don't know if he's grabbing food or going to the bathroom, but it was not very nice. Not very nice to block a pump like that. And this guy in front of me, I thought was almost done fueling, but I guess he was just done fueling one side. The thing about these Canadian pumps here is that they can only fuel one side at a time. That's nationwide, every pump in Canada is like that. Sometimes you get one that malfunctions and you can fuel both sides at once. <laughs> I love it when that happens, it's like Christmas. But no, it takes twice as long to fuel your truck up here in Canada as it does in the States, because in the US you can fuel both sides at the same time, right? Not here. So it takes a little bit longer and the lineups are a bit longer because of it. Here we go. Leaving Saskatoon, I've gotta go a little bit back backtrack just a little bit this morning because we're taking the highway directly through to Alberta West not the 16 Trans Canada now what highway is this? is it 44 no the 11 no I forget right now what highway it is but it goes straight through the Kindersley Saskatchewan it's a two-lane road but it's a direct route right to where I need to deliver this they are expecting me today around noon should be there right on time. I looks a little bit early. I like to be early, but as long as I'm on time, that's okay. Hopefully we don't run into any traffic problems or anything on the way. I'm really looking forward to spring already. I don't know if you guys know this. <laughs> 
bummy hair doesn't show. I need a haircut badly, especially when I shave my beard a little shorter than I usually do. Especially when I do, when I do that and I have longer hair like this, it makes it look worse than I'd like it to. I'll say that. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I just stopped for this. Just needed a a little shave, that's all. Well, we're here at the oil field, or it's not maybe the oil field, it's the oil. It's it's the place, we're here at the place. I shouldn't call it an oil field. I don't really know what this place is, but I do know that they deal in oil. Black gold, the lifeblood of our economy out here. What puts food on everybody's table? Gotta go around to the back. Same place we delivered to, remember, uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Go around to the back, and you see all these bins all around us here? Our left and our right, all these big bins. They're uh, built with the steel plates that I have on my trailer right now. So it's very possible that we delivered the steel that made all of these. I'm not sure when we started doing this for them, but we've been doing it steady for a few years, I'm pretty sure. I wonder how much oil they can store at this facility. There's like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be two dozen at least of these massive bins. At least, maybe more. And I'm assuming that it is just crude oil that they're storing in there. What else would they store in there? That's not how you store natural gas. Like, when it comes to this part of it, uh, I don't really know how they work it. I drive a truck. I just deliver the products they need to build this stuff. Whatever it is, definitely got a lot of it here. Down this little road here, and they'll be waiting for me at the end. Hopefully this is nice and quick. I don't think I'll make it to Edmonton to load today yet, but if I do, I can. I'm pretty sure I'll be reloading in the morning. Maybe I can find a gym to go to tonight then. In Edmonton somewhere. Arriving at road, on right. Arriving at road. This road doesn't even have a name. It's just road. Well, they were a lot nicer this time. <laughs> I don't think they meant to be mean last time, you know? And I tried to give them be the benefit of the doubt. Uh, this is the place where they wanted, didn't want my dogs on the site, right? And so I don't have my dogs with me today. Uh, nicest lady ever. I just gotta move up a little bit so that uh, vehicles can get around me. Super nice today. You see, you just don't bring your dog and they like you. I don't know. I don't know what kind of policy is like I know that they they love dogs personally but for some reason this job site does not like dogs just gonna get out of the way a little bit just like this there we go just so that people can get around me if they need to turn it back off oh yeah very, 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 very nice. I was shocked. I was a little nervous. I thought they were going to come and get mad at me again. But So this might not be crude oil. Like I was telling you before, I'll admit I'm kind of ignorant to what they're all storing here. I just assumed it was crude oil because it's big bins and it's in Alberta. Oil country, right? But I saw a sign as I was coming in here, something about gas. So this might be natural gas. Do they store natural gas like this? Like, I don't claim to know everything. I don't know these things. I mean, I'm bringing them their steel so they could build another one of these big storage bins. I don't really know what they put in them. Do any of you know? I don't know. I'm just waiting for my escort to come and guide me into the site. And uh, I'm not going to film anything past this point at the security checkpoint. Uh, some places don't like it if you do that. And, you know, I don't want to rock the boat. They're all in a good mood here. And I just want to get this stuff unloaded. I want to get to Edmonton. How far away am I from Edmonton? 
One second. My reload is Edmonton. Let's just quickly type this into the Googles. The almighty Google. How close am I? Directions. Give me directions. Oh, is this my guy here? There's a guy coming up here. No, I think he's just driving past. Yeah, he can get past. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm two and a half hours away. Oh, Dad's in Edmonton. Well, would y'all look at that? Oh, he's just south of Edmonton. Oh, maybe I'll run into him today yet. wonder where he's going. I got We got locations on our Google Maps of all of our family, just in case if there's an emergency. Like, my sister got into that accident last week. Uh, we know exactly where she is. And we know exactly where we are. It's not like a creepy thing where we stalk each other. It's just in case of emergency, our phone will broadcast our location to our family. So two and a half hours. If I get out of here, it's no. I'm guessing I'll be out of here two, three. No, I'm not going to make it today, unless if they load into the evening. I could probably call the customer and see. See how late they load. But other than that, uh, I guess I'll talk to you once we are unloaded. I showed you the load already in Ontario, right? So this load came 3,500 kilometers across the country. It took me uh, three full days, but I split it into like four or five, I think, because I took one day off at home because they didn't need this here. I could have been here yesterday morning, but they didn't want it here because no one was working here yesterday. They took an extra long weekend. Uh, it was family day, or uh, like I was saying yesterday, trader day in Manitoba. So they had uh, an extra day off after that, I guess. I don't really know what's going on, but we're here. Am I making sense? I have a feeling I'm not making any sense. Let me know down below in the comment section. Am I making sense? I want to go home. The weather's getting a little worse here as we approach the city of Edmonton. We're just merging onto their perimeter highway. They call it the 216. We're going to go to a Snap Fitness gym. Uh, in the south end of the city here. I looked it up on Google Maps before and it's one that I can go and park the truck nearby. All these gyms that I find where I can park the truck nearby, I always flag them on my Google Maps app. That way I can uh, find them easily next time I come to town. Because I can't go to every single one of their gyms because some of them are right in the heart of a residential zone. Seems the weather here is a little crazier than I'd like it to be. I can get into traffic here. There we go. They're making room for me. They're making room. Thank you very much. Get the little flash roos to say thank you. Drive 32 kilometers on Highway 216 West. No, we're gonna make a pit stop on the way to the truck stop, man. My arms and back are a little sore from the gym yesterday still, so I'm gonna let them rest today. And just probably go for about an hour on the treadmill. Just something to get my heart pumping and something to keep this routine going. Because you remember the last time uh, I got into this... Uh, before the wedding, I got into this kick of walking. Well, the, it wasn't winter time then and I'd actually go for actual walks. If I didn't do it every day, it was so easy to uh, break the habit and not go the next day. And then the next day, and then the next day, before you knew it, I had gained 15 pounds back, and I hadn't gone for a walk in over a year. <laughs> right? So I'm trying to make it a habit. You know, if I do it as often as I can, whenever I have an opportunity, and it becomes a habit in my mind that, that I just subconsciously know that this is just what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go spend an hour at the gym. That's just a given. Then my mind is trained. At the same time, my body is getting trained. So we're here in the southern part of Edmonton. And from what I've seen on Google, we're allowed to park on the street here. Pretty much right outside the gym. It's the closest one I could get to in the city. Let's see what these signs say here on the right. Yeah, we are allowed to park here. Two hour parking, good, I only need one. And the gym is just off to the right here in this little, uh, little strip mall thingy, whatever you call these things. 
Oh, no parking here. It's not fitness, right over there. But I am allowed to park here, okay. Perfect. That is awesome, I can park right at the gym. Don't even really have to walk anywhere. Beautiful. It's right over there. The, not this store right there. It's the one right next to it. And I can park right here. This is the the best parking I've had so far. Oh no, wait, other than the one in Michigan. There I could pretty much park right in the parking lot, but that was late at night too. During the day it would probably be different. So the time is now, what's the time? It's 7.40 at home. It's 6.40 here. Oh, so it might be kind of busy in there. Well, as long as I got a treadmill, that's all I need to do today. I just need to do a little cardio. Should be good. Whoop, this phone will not stop pitinging today. What? This is the only place I can get DEF fuel in the winter time because they have the only pumps that don't freeze in the winter time. But there was a Flying J down the street behind us. That way, the same way that truck is going right there. So I fueled up there so I can get my pilot points. And I came over here, fueled up DEF, and I noticed that there was a parking spot right here. Perfect spot. And I know it's gonna be a quiet night because only bobtails can fit in there. So they'll be way back there. I won't be able to hear them. No noise from them. And this guy beside me here, he just got into a taxi and took off. So I guess he's gone for the night. Cool. So this is where we're going to spend tonight. <clears throat> Tomorrow morning we uh, unload pretty much just around the corner from here. Going to throw some lumber on the deck and strap it down. That's always very important. Always strap down your loads. I don't care what anybody tells you. You strap down your load. And then we're going to take it home. I don't think I can get all the way home tomorrow pushing it. If I could do the speed limit, I probably could. But I'm uh, governed at the lovely speed of 62 miles an hour. But other than that, so we should get pretty far tomorrow. Maybe I'll get up to Brandon or something. And, uh, I don't know, see where we get to. And we'll do the rest of the way tomorrow on Friday. Saturday, we're doing that donation. And Sunday, not too sure yet if we're going to go visit my sister yet or not. But Monday, this truck is going in for a little bit more maintenance. And then, uh, what else do we got going on? Like I said, Tuesday, I'm really hoping to be able to just chill at home and just, you know, just, just be, just exist in front of the TV. I know that's not gonna happen because whenever I get home, there's like a million things to do. So I never have time to watch TV. Plus it's nice TV, but I never have time to watch it. Oh well, that's a lie. We usually watch at least a movie or two when I get home. Anyways, thanks for watching today, guys. Tomorrow, we head back across the prairies. It's gonna be riveting excitement and tons of scenery, tons. It will blow your mind. I don't promise. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Join the TJV channel here. Also, all the links to my uh, social media and my wife's social media is down below as well. She makes videos as well. And if you're interested in them, her link to her channel is down below as well. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.